start with the conversation in regard to the budget. Because uh, I think most Americans that I talk to, they're, they're, they're very nervous about what's happening with this ever-expanding government, but ever-expanding debt. M many Americans know we owe now $15.6 trillion. Uh, they know we've borrowed a, a trillion dollars every year for the last three years. And so they will step back and go, well, what's the plan? How do we address this uh, really difficult problem? I, I know uh, a lot of the moms in my district, uh, they're concerned about uh, who's lending us that money as the Chinese. They're concerned about their kids that they're raising so well, are uh, educating so well, what kind of an America they're going to grow up in. And so they say, listen, what kind of budget are you going to have? How are you going to fix it? And if they were to look uh, to the Senate, they would look and see that for the past three years, the Senate wasn't willing to pass a budget. They weren't willing to put out a plan on how they would deal with this daunting issue that this country faces. If they were lo uh, to look over to the president, and as the president, how do you deal with this, this cancer that's growing in America, which is our debt? How do you deal with it? I think they would say, well, Mr. Mr. President, you've given us a budget, but it's a budget that never balances. It's a budget that includes all the tax increases you've ever discussed, but it doesn't balance. It's a budget that we brought to this House floor, and it was such a political document that doesn't accomplish the goals that the, uh, the, the moms and dads of America want accomplished that uh, not one Republican nor one Democrat voted for that budget. We need real ideas to be put on the table. We need bold leadership to, ad to address the large issues that we face in this country. And for the last two years, the House Republicans have given that bold leadership. We've been willing to put our ideas on the, on the table on how we fix the great problems of our generation. And I'm proud of our freshman class. I'm proud of our House Republicans for willing to step out and lead. 